Hey, shalom, shalom, one of the souls by giving no place to have a shem, a shab, a shem, a cock, a dash that belongs to the apostles of GMS and honesty, brothers doing the work in truth and sincerity. It's a real quick one. Uh, you know, just, uh, if, if anyone ever needed reminding, right? It says Philippians 4 12. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound, right? So, what Paul was saying there is he was like, look. I know how it is to, you know, have, and I know how it is to, 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 to not have, right? It says everywhere and in all things I'm instructed both to be full and to be hung hungry, both to abound and to suffer need, right? Because then the day the Lord will make you go through certain things. You know, there'll be times when, you know, everything's good, and there'll be times when everything ain't so good, when then you're basically being a, a molded, into the um you know into into the perfect man for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? This is um Sirach second chapter. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Right, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Right, you know you might be brought low, and you ain't um you know you you brought low. Not for, not for your destruction, but you know, uh, as a as a temptation, right? It says whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Yeah, which is which is hard to do sometimes, but you got to take it cheerfully, right? You remember what it says in Romans three twenty three, where all of sin and come short of the glory of the most high, what are the wages of sin, death. Right? So we don't we don't deserve anything apart from death. So everything that we do have. Right, whatever little it is, right, we got to um, I'm just gonna, we got to uh, 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 be grateful for it, right? Because I'm be patient when that change to a lower state, right? So when when you've been abased, right? Because for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, right? Believe in him and he will help thee. Order that way right and trust in him, right? So if you believe in the Lord, when your times when you're abased. You know, he'll, he'll take care of you, he'll look after your situation, right? And then you'll, uh, you know, more than likely end up, you know, in, in a better situation, right? It says, uh, Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded right and the answer to that is no right yeah you got some people that died but they didn't die in wickedness they died in the Lord right we'll get that after as well right it says or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon yes when you call upon the Lord believing like the Lord will look after you he'll take care of you right it says, uh, uh, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. Right, you'll be low, right? all, 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 um, you know, all afflicted and pressed, right? But then the Lord will make a way. The Lord always makes a way. Right, that's why it says, look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, right? Look at Daniel and the lion's den. Right, Lord Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Right, the Lord took care of them. And there are several other stories throughout the scriptures. Those are the ones that just, you know, uh, come to mind. All right, it says, Woe be to the faithful hearts and faint hands, and the sinners, sinner that goeth two ways. Right, woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Right, because the Lord says, Without faith it is impossible to please him in Hebrews 11. And six, right? So you gotta have faith, and when you pray, you gotta uh, pray knowing that the Lord uh, can do whatever it is that you're asking Him to do. You just gotta believe, right? It says, therefore shall He not be defended, right? Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you, right? So you might, you know, and that's why it's a temptation, right? You might be in a lower state, and then you lose patience. Right, and you're like, oh no, forget this. You fall back into the world. But look, look, look now. What, what, what are you going? What are you going to do? <laughs> right? 
And in fact, it says that warns you that I've lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to say to the Lord? Oh, Lord, you know, I, I didn't have any money. So, you know, I'll fall back into the world or whatever. No, but Paul said, I know both how to be a base and a bow. Oh, it says wisdom three, just on the, on the point, I said I was going to get something. It says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the most high, and they shall no torment touch them. Right, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. Right, so you friends, you got the uh, example of in Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, which is a brilliant read. Right, it's, 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 it's a read, um, you know, should you know, boost your faith, right? But you know, you had the seven brothers and the mother. Right, and they all got put to death for the name of the Lord, but they 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 died valiantly, right? You know, they died and set an example. And also Eliezer in Second uh, Maccabees the sixth chapter, right? The high priest, right? They died and you know with with great majesty, right? But in the sight of the unwise, they look they looked like they were dying. But when you read some of the uh, the last words that those brothers had. You're basically saying, look, we gon' we gonna be back, right? And then what you gonna say? I believe it was uh, Antiochus that was um uh, uh, torturing them. My memory serves me correct, right? It says um for though your yeah, verse three, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they're in peace, for they. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the most I proved them and found them worthy for himself. Right, and then the same thing, right, repeated, uh, but, you know, as in Sirach, the second chapter. Right, it says, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Right, so when you're in this thing, you go and go through some stuff, and that's just that's just the the nature of the beast. Right, that's just then the, you know the nature of this thing that we're in. Nature of the beast most is a, is, a, is a figure of speech. Right, it says Job two and ten. It says, but he said unto her, right, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. Right, this is after Job's just lost everything. Right, and this woman basically said, look, my don't just curse the most high and die. Right, and Job look. He's looking at her. This is this is what I'm talking about, right? It says, "Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High, and shall we not receive evil?" In all this, Job did not Job sin with his lips, right? So you go and uh, receive. You know, you go and go through some stuff. There's gonna be time when the Lord is giving you, and you know everything all good. But there ain't gonna be times when the Lord is 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 taken from you. Right, is is sending uh, 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 calamities upon you, right? But it's that purification process. It's what do you do from that situation, right? Do you crumble and, you know, cry and be like, oh, be, right? or do you, you know, have faith that the Lord will take you out of that predicament, right? Because the Lord is look is looking for someone who has faith and that isn't going to faint. This is John three twenty seven. John answered and said, "A man can receive nothing except to be given from heaven. Right, so ain't nothing you gon' get unless the most I give it to you. Right, and that includes this truth. Right, people say, oh, I chose the Lord.' Now that's not what the Scripture says. John fifteen and sixteen says, "I have chosen you; ye have not chosen me." Right. And Amos 3 and 7 says the Lord will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto the servants of prophets. So the understanding of these scriptures is given from the Most High. Right? Inspiration comes from the Most High. Right? So anything that we have, we've been given it from the Most High. Everything that we've lost, the Lord hath taken it away. Right? So I said I just wanted to, 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 to bring that out need uh, 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 if anyone needed reminding you know <laughs> yeah because hey, look, that's just how the lord is right you can't you can't be too comfortable lord can flip anything on you at any point right and then and then you know now you're stuck right so always remember that lord can take anything right but 
also remember that, that you've got to have faith that when when you know something is taken away uh, uh, the lord can give you a, a better when he seems fit right he, he gave it to you right you're going to be cheerful right he takes it away you can remember look you didn't deserve anything all of sin and come short the glory of the most high right and when you give when you get given or well, you're going to be grateful also right because it's 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 a thing of once again you didn't deserve it and the lord has bestowed something onto you right and especially this truth we've all got to be grateful we have this truth and the hope that we're not a castaway pursuing to first corinthians 9 27 right psalms 51 and 11 right so as always lords that was edifying until the next time shalom